Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. You should stick around for the entire video. I'll send you some candy. Or vegetables, if that's what you're into. Hi, and welcome to Sagala's Mental Breakdown Monday. So, if you are new here, you probably don't know that for a while I was not posting. Um... <laughs> one of those clappy things where you're just like... <laughs> Well, honestly, I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> but I noticed. And it was because, honestly, I was feeling super overwhelmed. Like my brain was just like, Ugh. it's like I was filling up a balloon with air. I was just kept putting things in it and then never letting any oxygen out, you know, to like, and like it eventually popped or it's like, or like organizing anything. So yeah, that was basically my life for a month. I was in like a rut. You know, now I'm looking at it and I'm just like, you know, YouTube and just like making videos and singing, that's my outlet. That's how I release stress. That's that's how I express myself. So I don't want to do it. Like, I think I was looking at it as like a stressor instead of, you know, a stress reliever. Cause it's like, you know, you get to express yourself and whatnot. So I don't want to look at it that way. Like, you know, cause I really like, Posting about my life and then like looking back and seeing how my life was. So yeah, but I figured out a way to make my life easier. Like I, w I was doing a lot of like doing, you know, just like putting stuff out, doing, doing, doing. But then as I kept growing, I was never reflecting. Like when you go through life, there are moments where you're growing. You push, 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 keep growing. But then there are moments where you have to like stop and take a break and just reflect on what you're doing and reflect on the things that you have grown or you're gonna keep going and you're just gonna burn out and you're gonna be like, what the hell am I doing? And like, it felt like I was literally floating in space and I'm just like, like that's why I actually started tracking my behavior. Well, this guy who's like a multi-millionaire, like pfft, millions. Uh, his name is Taylor Welch. He was talking about how he like tracks his behavior. Like you're supposed to like track your behavior. And I'm pretty sure Jim Rohn, he talks about it too. He probably talked about it first and whatnot. Jim Rohn's great or what is something. And they talk about tracking your behavior so you can see what you're doing day to day. So that has really helped me. So like now I'm basically like, if I am on TikTok for an hour, I write it down in my notes was on TikTok for an hour. So I can be like, so I can't be like, oh, no, I wasn't, or I can't be able, so I could just see. <laughs> so I could see where my time is being spent and take responsibility. Like, so I can't be like, oh, I don't have time for that. Oh, but you had an hour for TikTok. You had an hour for YouTube to just scroll on there and watch cute bunny videos, watch cute anime videos, watch cute guys. I love the way you like. <laughs> like you have time. You gotta take respons take responsibility for your time. If you really don't have any time, then like track all your behavior. Like, like if you really wanna do something, but you say you don't have time, that's BS. It was BS for me at least. Like I was wasting time. And I was like, I knew like, and it was crazy because I knew I had to reflect, but I didn't know how to reflect. <laughs> it's like, I, I remember thinking like, you know, I remember reading about having, you know, you have to reflect on your life sometimes and whatnot, but I didn't have a system, but now I finally have a system. So now I could really feel like, I honestly feel like so good about being able to be consistent because now I have a system. Like I know, like I reflect on my life every day, every week and monthly. So like, I cannot believe I didn't know how to reflect. <laughs> Like, of course, I mean, I used to like make videos. I used to really reflect daily, but like, like just like a system, a system in place, like a really rock hard system that cannot be broken. Like, mm. I mean, I could show you that more later, but mm, that is really helped me. Like my pro productivity up, 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 up. And like, and I also started organizing all my videos and pictures into like these albums so that I know where everything is. Cause like, I don't want, like I would literally make these cool videos and then I would like, they would, they would get lost because like a week or a month later I'd have all these videos and I'd be so overwhelmed and be like, oh my gosh, I have to edit these. But then I'd be like, oh, I don't want to edit them. And then I 
keep having more ideas for more videos and then keep not editing them and then more and more and more and it's all in one folder labeled camera and I'm just like I don't want to go in there I don't want to go in there but I have so many good ideas right now and I was like oh I can't I can't I can't I can't so I was like one day I just sat down for five hours and I just organized everything I have like edit videos videos that can be posted videos selfies of me quotes stuff like that is great uh and I think it's really great to like have a folder of just selfies of you so you know how many selfies you take so you're just like so you know if, when you're when you're like about to take selfies you're not just like you're more careful because you know how many selfies you have tell me why people want to start talking when i'm videotaping make it make sense <sighs> like I remember it really started in the summertime like I went through this renaissance <sighs> yeah but I was like in a rut for about a month and during the summertime I was at my dad's house and my dad was like bro you kind of look like you're just floating by and you know I really didn't know why but when I thought about it, it was definitely because um, it's just my routine was off. Like I was in a different room and stuff and I wasn't as organized. And also I stopped eating my yogurt. Like I usually ate yogurt all the time. Like eating my yogurt and granola made me feel like myself. When your external is, an, is a mess, that is basically what your internal mind is. Cause like, it's like, it's a reflection. Like that's basically what your internal is. So it's like, you're frozen. You're just like, walking around in this mess of a mind and this mess of a room and and then you just crawl in your hole but it doesn't have to be a month-long rut if you just reflect every week every day every month you could see then you could see when something starts to crack because like I wasn't catching the moments where I was like this could be like a breaking point where I end up falling off the wagon Instead of falling off the wagon, you can just stop the wagon, fix the wagon if there's any cracks, and then keep going. Instead of falling off the entire wagon and getting a freaking bruise. That's basically what it means. Like, oh, it was a, you know, it's also a really big adjustment coming back home. Cause you know, I'm in a different environment now. I have to share a room. So ready to move out. And I just gotta remember, like honestly, singing, singing is the best thing ever. Like it really is just like, it's an app, it's like the type of affirmation that you never forget because the song is so catchy. Like I really, I just stopped singing because I was like, ugh. I was like, ah. But they're so great, they boost your energy. So I started doing that again. I'm like, wow. I wonder why I had so much energy. It's because I was always listening to music. So I'm definitely gonna do that more. So yeah, I have a great feeling about that. <laughs> command you to like comment and subscribe if you want unless you don't have any fingers then you could just ask your servants come on please <laughs> i love you